Hi, I'm Maris, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the lab values associated with diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA, and hyperglycemic hyperosmolar state, HHS. I'm going to be following along using our lab values flashcards. These are available on our website, levelupRN.com, if you want to grab a set for yourself. Or if you are more of a fan of digital products, I would invite you to check out Flashables, the digital version of all of our flashcards available on demand and at your fingertips wherever you go. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, I want to remind you that we're talking about patients who are diabetic uh, when we are talking about these lab values. So this is not re in reference at all to your non-diabetic patients. And, and a couple of things I want to remind you of too is that it is your uh, type 1 diabetics who are most likely to experience diabetic ketoacidosis and this type 2 diabetics who are most likely to experience hyperglycemic hyperosmolar state. Okay, so I just want to give you that kind of background before we talk about these. So with diabetic ketoacidosis or DKA, the blood sugar that I'm looking for as kind of the cutoff there is going to be greater than 300 milligrams per deciliter. Again, this is an abnormal finding. This is not something I expect a diabetic patient to have, but if my patient has type one diabetes and a blood sugar over 300, I need to be thinking, could this be DKA? The thing that I'm going to contrast this with is hyperglycemic hyperosmolar state, HHS, which is most likely to occur in the type 2 diabetic. And this is going to be a blood sugar that is over 600 milligrams per deciliter. Now, there's another thing that goes into this. It's not just about what the blood sugar level is. It's about what's going on on a metabolic level with your patient. So remember, with DKA, there will be ketones in the blood and or urine, and your patient will be experiencing a state of metabolic acidosis. It's in the name, diabetic ketoacidosis, ketones and acidosis. Versus HHS, the patient will have no ketones in the blood or urine and will not experience metabolic acidosis. So why is this? I would really encourage you to go watch the videos that we have that go in depth into these different disorders. But the, the quick review of why this is, is that if I have type two diabetes, I do have relative insulin resistance. However, I do likely still make some amount of insulin that my body is able to utilize. In this case, the amount of insulin that my body is able to utilize keeps me the type two diabetic from going into ketoacidosis. There is none of this liberating of ketone bodies in an attempt to look for an energy source. We don't need that. We have enough insulin to give ourselves, ourselves some energy so that we are not uh, having to end up in the state of ketoacidosis, right? Really, really big difference there versus my type one diabetics have no insulin whatsoever. There is no insulin being produced. So when their blood sugar starts to rise, but they're not able to utilize it, we end up needing to, to liberate those ketone bodies in order to have uh, energy and in so doing create a state of metabolic acidosis. All right, that is it. I'm going to test your knowledge of some key facts I provided in this video with a quiz question. Aside from blood sugar differences, what two things are present in DKA but not in HHS? Ketones in the blood and or urine and metabolic acidosis. All right, that is it for this video. I do hope you learned something. If you did, would you leave a comment and let us know what? It really makes our day to see those. And hey, if you have a great way of remembering something that I didn't mention in this video, leave that as a comment too. We like seeing it, but I know it's beneficial to other learners as well. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much and happy studying. We invite you to subscribe to our channel and share a link with your classmates and friends in nursing school. And if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and let us know what you found to be particularly helpful.